I think that doing math research is really interesting because when I first started, I didn't know what math research really was. And it kind of intimidated me because I was thinking it would have to be really complex and really complicated because otherwise, you know, surely everybody's already done it before. And it's not really true because there are a lot of things that people just don't know the answer to. And they, a lot of times they are very complex and there aren't things that I can do yet at my level, but there are smaller things like the project I'm working on now that I can do work that is at my level and suitable to me, but I'm still discovering something new. It's kind of strange not to have a lab, but it's also kind of strange to hear science majors talk about their lab and all the people in their lab. And I'm thinking, oh, it's just me and my mentor and maybe a computer and a textbook. So it's kind of strange. There's not the same sort of process as in science and you don't do a bunch of different trials and, you know, do the same process over and over again, but you have to, you know, work through a problem. I do get frustrated sometimes when I'm um, you know, going through a problem and I'm just not getting it and I'm, there are times when it just doesn't make any sense at all and I don't know where to go to make it make sense, you know, I don't know what the next step needs to be. I'm kind of one of those stubborn people who gets mad if I can't figure it out and so I want to keep going until I do just so I can win and conquer the problem. So it's really satisfying when you've worked through a problem and it's been so difficult and you feel like you can't get through it. And then when you finally kind of see the light and figure it out, it's really satisfying to know that you did that and you accomplished something. When I started out, I knew that research would be challenging, but I had had quite a few math classes and I had a pretty good math background, I thought. So I thought that I would do pretty well and that it would be a challenge, but I would be able to get through it, which I was, of course. But um, I didn't realize that I really didn't know very much. And so um, it was kind of a problem because I realized that I couldn't just jump in there and start on a new project and make this big discovery, but I had to do a lot of background work that you know people have already done, but I had to learn that first before I could do something new. You do have to have confidence, and I feel like doing this research has, it's kind of had an interesting impact on me because it's really shown me that how far I have to go and how much I have to learn, which can, you know, kind of hurt your confidence sometimes. But in the same, at the same time, I've learned, you know, how to ask questions and that it's okay to not know things and to ask questions when you're struggling. And so I think that it has made me more confident. Mm -hmm.